Amazon S3 offers a range of storage classes that you can choose from based on the data access, resiliency, and cost requirements of your workloads. These storage classes are Amazon S3 Standard, Amazon S3 Intelligent Tiering, Amazon S3 Standard Infrequent Access, Amazon S3 One Zone Infrequent Access, Amazon S3 Glacier Instant Retrieval, Amazon S3 Glacier Flexible Retrieval, Amazon S3 Glacier Deep Archive. S3 storage classes can be configured at the object level, and a single bucket can contain objects stored across S3 Standard, S3 Intelligent Tiering, S3 Standard IA, and S3 One Zone IA storage classes. You can also use S3 lifecycle policies to automatically transition objects between storage classes without any application changes. Let's start with Amazon S3 Standard. Amazon S3 Standard is a general purpose storage, offers highly durable, available, and performance object storage for frequently accessed data. S3 Standard has a retrieval time of milliseconds to get the first byte. It provides 99.99% availability. It is used for frequently accessed data with low latency and high throughput. Because S3 Standard delivers low latency and high throughput, S3 Standard is appropriate for a wide variety of use cases, including cloud applications, dynamic websites, content distribution, mobile and gaming applications, and big data analytics. However, the S3 Standard Storage class is not used to store secondary backup copies of on-premises data, as S3 Standard Storage can be an expensive choice for backup use cases. Data stored in S3 Standard is used for general purposes and for frequently accessed data. Now let's talk about Amazon S3 Standard Infrequent Access Storage class. Amazon S3 Standard Infrequent Access is for data that is accessed less frequently, but requires rapid access when needed. Amazon S3 Standard Infrequent Access offers highly durable, high throughput, and low latency of S3 Standard with a low per GB storage price and per GB retrieval fee. It provides 99.99% availability. This combination of low cost and high performance makes S3 Standard Infrequent Access ideal for long-term storage, backups, and as a data store for disaster recovery files. It can be used for backups, but it is more expensive than S3 One Zone Infrequent Access. That's why S3 One Zone Infrequent Access is a better option for secondary backup copies. Now let's talk about Amazon S3 Standard, One Zone and Frequent Access Storage class. S3 One Zone and Frequent Access Storage class is used for data that is accessed less frequently. However, when needed, it requires rapid access. Unlike other S3 storage, which store data in a minimum of three AZs, S3 One Zone and Frequent Access stores data in a single AZ, and it costs 20% less than S3 Standard and Frequent Access. It provides high durability of 11.9 and 99.5% availability in a single AZ. Because of a single AZ, there is a potential for data loss if an issue such as AZ goes down. S3 One Zone and Frequent Access is good for customers who want a lower cost option for infrequently accessed data, but do not need the availability and resilience of S3 Standard or S3 Standard Infrequent Access. Additionally, S3 One Zone IA is a good choice for storing secondary backup copies of on-premises data or easily recreatable data. You can also use it as cost-effective storage for data that is replicated from another AWS region using S3 cross-region replication. An example is thumbnail storage. However, S3 One Zone IA offers less availability than S3 Standard, but that's not an issue for storing thumbnails since the thumbnails can be regenerated easily. In a use case where the thumbnails are rarely used but need to be rapidly accessed when required, S3 One Zone IA could be the best choice. Now let's talk about Amazon S3 Glacier. Amazon S3 Glacier is a secure, durable, and extremely low-cost S3 storage class for data archiving and long-term backup. It is designed to deliver the durability of 11.9s. Amazon S3 Glacier provides comprehensive security and compliance capabilities that can help meet even the most stringent regulatory requirements. S3 Glacier has a retrieval time of minutes or a few hours to get the first byte. Amazon S3 Glacier is optimized for infrequently used data or cold data. Data stored in S3 Glacier is automatically server-side encrypted using AES-256, with keys maintained by AWS. Amazon S3 Glacier Storage Class's pricing has two components, price for storage and object retrieval cost. 
Amazon S3 also provides three Amazon S3 Glacier Archive storage classes. These storage classes are designed for different access patterns and storage duration. Let's talk about how these storage classes differ. First, let's talk about S3 Glacier Instant Retrieval. It is used for archiving data that is rarely accessed and requires milliseconds retrieval. It has millisecond retrieval. It is good for use cases where data access once a quarter. It requires minimum storage duration of 90 days. Next is S3 Glacier Flexible Retrieval, formerly the S3 Glacier Storage class. It is used for archives where portions of the data might need to be retrieved in minutes. Data stored in the S3 Glacier Flexible Retrieval Storage class can be accessed in as little as 1 to 5 minutes by using expedited retrieval. Standard retrieval is between 3 to 5 hours. You can also request free bulk retrievals in up to 5 to 12 hours. It requires a minimum storage duration of 90 days. The other glacier type is S3 Glacier Deep Archive. It is used for archiving data that rarely needs to be accessed. Data stored in the S3 Glacier Deep Archive storage class has a default retrieval time of 12 hours, and bolt retrieval is 48 hours. It requires a minimum storage duration of 180 days. Let's look into S3 Glacier Deep Archive further. Amazon S3 Glacier Deep Archive is the lowest cost storage class offering. Its typical use case supports long-term retention of data that may be accessed once or twice a year. It is designed for customers that retain data sets for 7 to 10 years or longer to meet regulatory compliance requirements, particularly those in highly regulated industries, such as financial services, healthcare, and public sectors. S3 Glacier Deep Archive can also be used for backup and disaster recovery cases. It is also a cost-effective and easy-to-manage alternative to magnetic tape systems, whether they are on-premises libraries or off-premises services. It has first byte a retrieval time of 12 to 48 hours. S3 Glacier Deep Archive complements Amazon S3 Glacier, which is ideal for archives where data is regularly retrieved, and some of the data may be needed in minutes. All objects stored in S3 Glacier Deep Archive are replicated and stored across at least three geographically dispersed AZs, protected by a durability of 11 nines, and can be restored within 12 hours. Now let's talk about some S3 Glacier use cases. S3 Glacier can be used in media asset workflows, where assets such as video and news footage require durable storage and can grow to many petabytes over time. Much of this data needs to be available immediately for breaking news events, video rendering, or content development. The Amazon S3 Glacier Instant Retrieval Storage class allows you to archive older media content affordably while making it available in milliseconds when needed. S3 Glacier can be used for healthcare information archiving. Hospital systems need to retain petabytes of patient records for decades to meet regulatory requirements. The Amazon S3 Glacier and S3 Glacier Deep Archive Storage classes help you reliably archive patient record data securely at a very low cost. The Amazon S3 Glacier Instant Retrieval Storage class is ideal for medical images or genomics, where milliseconds retrieval is required. S3 Glacier can be used for regulatory, compliance, and business policy archiving. Many enterprises like financial services and healthcare must retain regulatory and compliance archives for extended durations. Company policies can also require record retention of several years or indefinitely for data such as finance, tax, HR, or email records that can use S3 Glacier storage classes for a long-term content archive. S3 Glacier is also very good for long-term backup retention. Businesses store large data backups for many years on expensive on-premises storage systems. The S3 Glacier storage classes deliver very low-cost archive storage for these backups, while also making the data available when needed. S3 Glacier can also be used in use cases for tape replacement. On-premises or off-site tape libraries can lower storage costs but require large upfront investments and specialized maintenance. The Amazon S3 Glacier storage classes have no upfront costs and eliminate the cost and burden of maintenance while providing faster access than on-premises tape archives. Now let's talk about Amazon S3 Intelligent Tearing. The S3 Intelligent Tiering Storage class is designed to optimize costs by automatically moving data to the most cost-effective access tier based on access patterns change, without performance impact or operational overhead. It works by storing objects in two access tiers, one tier optimized for frequent access and another lower cost tier optimized for infrequent access. S3 Intelligent Tiering has a first byte retrieval time of milliseconds. 
Objects uploaded or transitioned to S3 Intelligent Tiering are automatically stored in the Frequent Access tier. S3 Intelligent Tiering works by monitoring access patterns and then moving the objects that had not been accessed in 30 consecutive days to the Infrequent Access tier. If the objects are accessed later, S3 Intelligent Tiering moves the objects back to the Frequent Access tier. There are no retrieval fees when using the S3 Intelligent Tiering Storage class, and no additional tearing fees when objects are moved between access tiers within S3 Intelligent Tiering. It is the ideal storage class for datasets with unknown storage access patterns, like new applications, or unpredictable access patterns, like data lakes. Let's see how the S3 Intelligent Tiering moves objects between access tiers. The storage class remains the same, S3 Intelligent Tiering. The Frequent Access Tier is the default tier. Objects not accessed for 30 days are moved into the Infrequent Access Tier automatically. Objects not accessed for 90 days are moved into Archive Instant Access Tier automatically. Optionally, you can move objects to the Archive Access Tier, which is configurable from 90 days to 700 plus days. Also, optionally, you can move objects to Deep Archive Access Tier, which is configurable from 180 days to 700 plus days. Now let's talk about how objects can be moved between different storage classes. To store objects cost-effectively throughout their life cycle, you can transition S3 objects between storage classes manually. The diagram shows how objects can be transitioned from one storage class to another. For objects that are accessed infrequently, you can move them to standard IA. For objects you don't need in the immediate or near future, you can move them to Glacier or Deep Archive. Moving objects can also be automated using a lifecycle configuration.